Tiffany here at the Organized Mommy of Three and today I wanted to talk to you guys about my five favorite breastfeeding items. So let's get started. First off, I just wanted to say that I breastfed all three of my children. Um, specifically, I breastfed Mason, which is my last child. He's one year, one year old right now. Um, I breastfed him for 11 months. It was beautiful, and towards the end, I was kind of ready to be done, but honestly, I didn't think he would want to wean as quickly as he did. It was a shock for me. While I breastfed him for the 11 months, I used these five different items all the time. If you guys are considering breastfeeding, or you know you're gonna breastfeed, or you are breastfeeding, like I hope this video helps you guys out. So let's get started. The first item is my nursing cover. Um, it's striped gray and white. I love the color gray. I don't know if you guys can tell. This, this cover is from Covered Goods. It was about 30 bucks, I believe. It's very stretchy. It's really, really nice. I like was very, very comfortable using it. Mason was born in May, and so I used it even throughout the summer. If it was hot out, I was still able to like put this on and comfortably nurse him without any problems. So um, it's a really light material, very stretchy, like I said before. Place it over your head just like this just kind of draping over your neck or you can do like a one-handed thing one part underneath your armpit and the other part over your shoulder and you have the baby right here there's so many different ways you can use this and wear it it's a nursing cover but it also can be used as an, a scarf in the fall it's really cute it goes with your outfit if you're wearing like neutrals also uh, you can use it as a shopping cart cover when your baby's in the shopping cart and also I use this cover as a car seat cover for Mason to protect him from like the cold or the elements outside I would put this over his infant seat and it had obviously left this huge space you know on top so he can breathe and it just covered him you know if it was raining or if it's snowing or if it's kind of breezy and you know just put it over the car seat cover it was perfect guys this thing, I, I mean, I loved it. It was the best 30 bucks I've ever spent. Um, if I was still nursing, I would have definitely bought more. But honestly, this lasted 11 months. I wash it. it, it would get stained, it would get like, you know, he'd throw up on it or whatever, spit up on it, throw it in the wash, and it came back perfect. So Cover Goods, guys, they're a really good company. Check them out if you're looking for a really comfortable nursing cover. Next up, nursing pads, yes. I could not live without these babies. Anyway, I use these um, every day. I would use them multiple times a day. I use the disposable ones over the reusable ones just because it just made more sense with my life. I just knew that like I would just come to a time where I wouldn't have time to wash it and I would need it and then I'd be stuck. So I just got disposable. These are from Lansano. I would get it from Target. I got the big box of 100. Um, and I'm sure you can get it on Amazon too, Target, Amazon, Walmart. I'm sure you can get it from all those places. Uh, so pretty much, it opens. It comes folded in half. It opens up. You just put it. You know, you <laughs> just put it right there. Tape it to your bra so it has a little adhesive area. You tape it to your bra, and it actually stuck. It's it would stick for me. It never really. It never fell out ever. I never had like an embarrassing moment of it falling out. Um, you know, and then when it's time to nurse, you flip it down. These are essential. These worked perfect. Never leaked through, and I would leak a lot in the beginning. I never leaked through, so get those. Those are good. Uh, next up, I would. I don't have it on hand right now because I'm not nursing anymore, but a comfortable nursing bra. Guys, no underwire, please. It's so uncomfortable. And what you want when you're nursing is comfort. Not to mention that your breasts grow so big after having the baby. Like, you know, they, they grow three times bigger than they were when you were pregnant. And, you know, you want something that's comfortable. You don't want something digging into you while you have to do what you have to do, you know? So, well, I had a daytime and a nighttime set. Like, I would use certain ones for the day. And I would use certain ones for the night. Like for nighttime, I would use like a, it's almost like a sports bra looking type of one. Really comfortable. It didn't even feel like I had anything on, but I was able to still wear my nursing pads at night. And like, you know, just, it was really comfortable. 
Um, so yeah, invest in a really comfortable nursing bra. It is essential, okay? Next up is a breast pump. Okay, so I exclusively breastfed Mason. Like, he would not take a bottle for the most part. If he took a bottle, it was a few times in the beginning, and then he just, like, did not want the bottle at all. I couldn't even supplement with, um, with formula if I wanted to because he just, he did not like a bottle. But I would still pump my milk for, well, in the beginning I pumped just to see if he would take a bottle, which didn't work, so I stopped. And then towards the end or middle area, I don't know, I would pump to make his baby cereal and his baby food and mix the breast milk in the, in the baby food that I would make for him. So I would need a pump. I didn't use it every day, so I didn't go out and get a really expensive breast pump. Um, and I'm happy I didn't go out and spend a bunch of money on a breast pump because he didn't, I didn't need it. So I just went and picked up <laughs> the Lancinel breast pump. It's small, it's simple, like you know, here it has like a power button. You can adjust the speed um, of the pump. I didn't have to use a pump a lot, so I, it, it was good. It did the job, you know? So um, it comes with, sorry, <laughs> it has a little suction hose where you attach the two pumps. also plugs into the wall. Um, it's an electric pump. But if you need to use it and you don't have an outlet nearby, you can actually put batteries in it. Six AA batteries. <laughs> So, six AA batteries if you don't have an outlet nearby and you have to pump. At least you have the option. That's the good thing. Um, like I said, it has the two nozzles you attach the breast pump to. Um, here's one. And just goes on like that. It, this is pretty comfortable. I mean, for what I needed to use it for, I wasn't uncomfortable at all. Like, it worked for me. Uh, <laughs> you attach the bottle to the bottom. If you need to just pump out of one breast, you can actually just take off oh, take off one of the hoses and plug it up and plug it up and then you can just attach the one hose going to the pump going to the bottle. Um, and then it adds all the pressure so you're just getting like more pressure obviously to that one side. Uh, so you know it works for me guys, like I said. I know a lot of people who have the Medela. My friend actually has the Medela and she loves it and she used it more than I did, I guess. So, um, she loved it. Everybody that I know that used the, the Medela pump, like, loved it. I didn't, I've never heard anything bad about it. So, if I were to ever need to use a pump again and I see that I'm using it every day, multiple times a day, I would invest in a Medela. I use my breast pump maybe. Out of the entire 11 months, I would say 20 times maybe. I don't even know. It, I didn't use it that much. So Lancino worked for me. It was great. I got it from Babies R Us. I don't know how much it was. It was definitely under $150. So it wasn't a crazy investment for the amount that I used it. It worked good. For me. Next up, Lactation Boost. It's not essential if you don't need it. But if you feel that you don't need a Lactation Boost, do not take it. It doesn't make sense. You're just wasting your money. This is from The Honest Company. It's called Lactation Plus, and it's made with organic fenugreek and organic fennel. It comes with 60 capsules in the bottle. Uh, I got mine from Target. I think I spent maybe $20 on it. All right, guys, that was my five favorite and essential breastfeeding items. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this helped you guys out to, you know, helping decide the few things that you need for breastfeeding. Um, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please click subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye.